Greetings. This is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Kushner, Jared Kushner unveils economic portion of Middle East peace plan. We are June 22nd, 2019. Uh, the economic details of the Middle East peace plan were released by senior White House advisor Jared Kushner. The plan calls for $50 billion to be spent, sent to Middle East countries. $28 billion are scheduled to go to the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Details of the plan break down which country gets how much and specific projects are named. Currently, the plan is expected to take 10 years to implement. Now, those of you who follow Prophecy No. 7 would be a very critical number. Right now, we're at 10. Uh, the plan is being compared to the Marshall Plan for Western Europe after World War II. Here's a quote from Kushner on this issue. One of the things that they did successfully, this is regarding the Marshall Plan, is that they just didn't give aid, but they infused money into private sector, and they created an environment which businesses could thrive and capital could be invested. This is a similar notion. Kushner also went on to say, if you can also get the whole region starting to lift, and if you can get a quicker flow of goods and people in all the different areas that are necessary in industry instead of bullets and munitions and war, then I think that will really lead to a big increase in investment in the area and more jobs and better quality of life and hopefully more peace along with it. And that's a quote from Mr. Jared Kushner. Now the white house for their part communicated via Twitter, uh, the plan called peace to prosperity. Now this economic plan is 40 pages and you can see the link below. And here's a tweet from the white house. Generations of Palestinians have lived under adversity and loss, but the next chapter can be defined by freedom and dignity. Today, we're unveiling peace to prosperity, the most ambitious international effort for the Palestinian people to date. And so click on this link. You want to go to Twitter. You can uh, get into this a little bit further. And peace to prosperity is a vision to empower the Palestinian people to build a prosperous country. Uh, now, the economic plan is divided into four sections. Overview, unleashing economic potential empowering the Palestinian people and enhancing Palestinian governance. Now you can see the link below, and this is the White House link right here. We're going to take a look at that real quick. Um, this is what it looks like. We'll go back up here to the top. Here's the overview section, uh, unleashing economic potential. Again, you can see some details uh, opening up the West Bank and Gaza, uh, conducting constructing essential infrastructure, promoting so private sector growth. A lasting peace agreement will ensure a future economic opportunity for all Palestinians. So uh, regional development integration, empowering the Palestinian pe people, improving education, uh, strengthening workforce development, transform Palestinian health care, improve quality of life, Enhancing Palestinian governance. Now, that's something that's going to be released later. I'm not going to spend much time on that. That portion of the plan is coming later. Now, the plan is reported to have 179 economic projects, 96 pages worth of details and financing information. Economic programs and projects of the plan are noted in the link below. And this is what this link looks like. Peace to prosperity. The goal is to empower Palestinian people to build a better future for themselves and children. Uh, I'll let you guys check out the details, but you can see once you get into this, I mean, they are breaking this down as to how much is going to go to digital services, water, power, transportation, workforce, business development, quality of life, manufacturing, agriculture, home health or home, home ownership, healthcare, natural resources, tourism, education, etc. cetera. Who's, here's who gets the money. Gaza, West Bank, Jordan, Egypt, Lebanon. Uh, regional program summary. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Macroeconomic impact. I mean, this just goes on and on for 96 pages. If you guys want to get into the minutia of it, labels out specific cost, who's paying for what, who's going to manage it, what projects are going to be completed and so forth. So again, 96 pages, pretty interesting detailed stuff if you're interested in that sort of thing. And Kushner also conducted an interview with Reuters 
4 minutes, 35 seconds, you can click on this link from Reuters on Twitter, listen to his comments, 4 minutes and 35 seconds in length. Uh, here he is talking. I'm here, Mr. Kushner. Uh, <laughs> revealing the details of this. So uh, he's smooth. I'll give him that. He's got an answer for everything. I'm sure he was prepped with what was coming, but comes off as very credible. Now, this is a fascinating piece. Fundraising will be a part of the scheduled, quote, workshop. Wealthy Arab Gulf states are being encouraged to make contributions in funding the plan. The United States is also promising to assist with finances. And this is another quote from Kushner. The reason we're calling this a workshop and not a conference is because we want to get feedback and hopefully finalize it so that we can coordinate a lot of the aid efforts and investing efforts to really drive these results. And again, the uh, political piece is not scheduled to be released probably until after September 17, 2019. Israeli elections are pending. And lastly, you can go to Times of Israel right here is a nice overview and framework for what's going on with the Middle East peace plan, the economic piece of it. You can scroll down through this, read more details. You can go to the any of this stuff here and get a lot of specific information more so than any news article. But uh, now in closing, nobody's making the claim there is peace and security, but they're starting to talk about it with intent and purpose. And we'll close with 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 3. While people are saying there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape. So time to pay attention. They're starting to talk about peace. Now we'll see if this goes anywhere. If you're interested, this is found under Gaza Strip, Philistia, Peace Plan, Prophecy. Got some different tags under uh, Arab-Israeli Conflict, Kushner, Marshall Plan, Palestinians, Peace to Prosperity, White House, etc. If you'd like to uh, follow along, click on this blue bar or click in this area. You can type in your email address and receive notification every time we put out something. Um, things might start getting interesting. This is kind of... Uh, newsworthy and it's been a while since we've had some action so stay tuned pay attention thanks for paying paying attention and following take care bye